Hello. Well, hello class, this is part two. So let us try to look into uh, number 11 and on. So here we have uh, simultaneous equation solving um, uh, with the word problems. So we have three milk chocolate bars and four uh, creamy nougat bars. Now total costing 425. So uh, why don't we put a C for the chocolate bars and then N for the uh, nougat bars. Now then we have three C plus four N must be equal to 4.25. Now and then second uh, we have uh, additional six chocolate bars and then four uh, I mean you get bars so we have six C plus four and here we'll end up getting six point five zero now notice that both of them has four ends together In order for us to cancel them out, what we need to do is we can simply multiply one of them with negative sign. Then we will end up getting something like this, negative 3C minus 4N. Notice that this negative sign will be distributed to 3C and also 4N, including all the way on the other side, negative 4.25. Now when you add them up, these two little cancels out, then we end up getting 3C should be equal to 2.25. And to get the value of C, we have to simply divide by 3. Then we will realize C must be equal to 0.75. <clears throat> now, we know since we now know the value of C, what we can do is this. We can uh, put this one back onto the equation and then we can try to find out the value of n. Now notice uh, since 3c was equal to 225 or we can even plug in the value 0.75 in place of c so we will end up getting something like this. Now when you multiply 3 times 0.75 you should realize it must be equal to or, uh, 2.25 by subtracting 2.25 on each side we realize 4n is left on the other side we have 2 left therefore n must be equal to 0.5 so how much is each uh, type cost? Uh, C will be equal to $0.75, meaning $0.75. Cents. Uh, N then will be equal to $0.5, so which means basically $0.50. Cents. All right. Then let us continue. Number 12. Factor completely. Notice that this one is perfect square, so as this one. So the, way, so the way which we can do this, since this would be the difference of perfect, the difference of perfect squares, so we'll end up getting 2a and then the other question will be plus 3b or minus 3b and that is it. Now number 13 here, uh, notice uh, 3 was common in all three terms. So when you factor out 3, we will have x squared minus 2x and minus 8. Then you could realize the two numbers that multiply negative 8 but add up to uh, negative 2. In fact, it will be negative x minus 4 and x plus 2. Notice that those two numbers multiply to negative 8 but add up to negative 2. There we go. The answer. Now, here, this will be the last question. Uh, we need to find out the value of x and then try to see which one of them would have fit into that category. 
or we can try to substitute uh, each and every one. Uh, so here, let's look at it. First, we can add 2x on both sides. Let me try to write it up right over here. And we would have gotten 2 plus uh, 2 over 3 uh, would have been equal to and it over 3x plus 3 is less than negative 7. So to get rid of the rest, we get 8 over 3. x by subtracting 3 from both sides should be less than negative 10. Now in order for us to have x, x by itself, we will multiply it by each reciprocal, which is 3 over 8. 3 over 8. Now, then x must be less than uh, negative 30 over 8. Now this is about 3 point, uh, if let's see, rewrite it, then x has to be less than negative uh, 3 point 75. So x has to be less than that, then you will realize there's only one value that is less than neg uh, negative 3.75 which would have been right here, negative 12. So with that, we'd like to close up for the uh, exam review, and have a nice day.